The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or Comcast. MATV welcomes your comments. Call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. Welcome to the third game this MNBL evening on a Sunday afternoon. Little brisk out as usual. It is wintertime, people. We have the first place Lakers holding a sweet record of nine and one, going up against the fourth place Celtics at five and five. The microphones are a little dense right now. You'll pick up. We gotta turn a couple up. Fritz with an early steal. And the basket. Fritz Bill Saint starting off the day for the Lakers with a quick two. The Lakers obviously will go to Jeremy Rocca often. If needed, they will go to him all day long. But he has a good supporting cast. He's got Stephen Ward, who's coming on strong lately with the scoring. Fritzville Saint, who's a strong rebounder. Rashad Langston, the spot plug of their squad. Sean Fitzpatrick, the fill-in man. They got Brendan Berger, also a perimeter fill-in man getting rebounds. They have a supporting cast this season. Stolen by Fitzpatrick, up for Ward. Taking it by himself. Hits it. Early timeout Celtics, yes. They need to uh, regroup, make sure everything is settled and okay. We need to get angst on the faces of certain people here. I gotta get the anger on the face. <laughs> You're so evil looking right now, it's scary. In the huddle right now, the Celtics, early timeout, like was said. We have Mike McQuado, that is a microphone right there if you wanna hook it on. Bring it up high. Right there on your necklace is fine. That way you can talk. Mike McQuado representing himself as well as you know his team there the Sixers who won today who did win today big win over the Deanless Bullets but it's still a victory keeps them on pace it, they're gonna have to have a, a little bit of help from other teams in order to get in right now it's between the Sonics and the Celtics the first three the, the Lakers Bullets and Hawks have clinched a playoff berth Iggy Gibson, who was not here last week, as well as Nick Charamella, are both here today. Nick Charamella got a haircut. Don't look like Shaggy now. Jeremy Rocker with the ball, the jumper. Misses his first. Matt Chabelli with the rebound to Bryant Santos with the puff daddy look on the back of his head. Oh, I get by with my Afro puffs. Ho, oh, hey. Fritzville saying up to Ward, beautiful pass. Look at Coach Amos losing it. Clicking the heels already. Fritzville saying beautiful pass. Santos for three. Brian Santos has been hitting quite a few of those this year. Getting hot, at one game he had four of them. Rocker trying to match, no good. Iggy Gibson brings it up the middle. Traveling violations. He done skid it on ice. Like the boy had rollerblades. Rashad Langston bringing up the ball. 
Rocket has then stops it inside for Phil Saint. No good. Lost, lose the ball. Charamella with the ball. Adler Sertel, the spot plugs for the Celtics. Starting to get better and better each week. Shabelli, poor decision on that shot. Gets it back. A better opportunity. Couldn't capitalize. This will be a back and forth game. Both these teams like to run. The Celtics are known for pressing from start to finish. Have laid off that lately. Ward for three spots up, nice. Ball's loose, Stephen Ward with the steal. Gibson tra trails. Couldn't get it, went to his left side. Almost had it, good hustle by Ward, knocks it free. Oh, Vilsaint throws it up. Ward's getting a beautiful pass from Langston. Rashad Langston with a beautiful behind the back pass. Jeremy Rocca all smiles, you don't see that very often. Stephen Ward gets rewarded for the steal. That's how it's supposed to work. You create, you get it back. Adler Serto with the turnaround, no good. Vilsaint to Rocca. Stopped by Sertle. Good defense. The hoop and the hum, the hack and the act. And possible and one. Alan Omondi coming in for Adler Sertle. Robert Skane coming into the game as well also. Misses the N1, stays like a ball. 15 to five, under five minutes to go. Tipped away. Fritz with the ball to Langston. Couldn't squeak it through. Santos quick. Blocked by Fitzpatrick. Being harassed, they got numbers. Josh Gomez, a little bit of an air ball problem there. Knocked down by Rocker, kicked out by Omondi. Ball's up, Fitzpatrick loses it. Skein with the ball. Omondi can't hold the ball. Got some butter hands or something. Pretty sloppy first quarter for the Celtics. It is, only scoring five points. Three and a half to go in the first quarter. Josh Gomez inside to Fitzpatrick. Being very patient right now. I don't know what kind of number 47 is for Josh Gomez. Got to find out why he's wearing that number. <laughs> he don't look big enough to be on the football team, but he could be. Rocker gets mugged and looking for the call, but no call. Here comes Charamella the other way. Nick Charamella came into this season a man possessed to play. Iggy throws it to Santos, good save. Over Fitzpatrick, Santos with five of the seven points. Brian Santos, who should have been their starting point guard, but due to actions unbecoming of a Celtic, as Magic would put it, has been relatively on coming off the bench all season. Iggy Gibson, the team's leading scorer. Langston with the hang time. Oh. 
He does that once a game. There goes Langston again with his speed. Couldn't get the left hand to go. Back and forth we go. Santos can't get the right hand to go. No one can get anything to go. There goes Santos on the power side. Over Jeremy Rocca. He's got seven of the 11 for the Celtics. Cliff Williams is here, I heard his voice. I didn't even see him come in the building. On the bench, the coaching staff, Magic Evans Riviere, Cliff Williams, Joe Young, and Shelby Pierre. Joe Young, a former Celtic, Magic, and Shelby, former Lakers. Now going up against their former head coach, Coach Amos. Alan Omondi off the glass. Alan Omondi much quicker than Fritzville Saint. He shouldn't have too much of a hard time, but Fritz is a much stronger player than Allen, boards-wise, in strength. A little eight to four run, gets the Celtics right back in this game. Who is dribbling on the bench that shouldn't be? Josh Gomez uh, pass to Berger. Got away with an up and down there. Pass to Santos, who got another basket. He's got nine out of 15. He's a one-man show. Right now he is. Let's go to the stats. The end of the first quarter, we're gonna start going by the numbers. Rocker with the jumper. Iggy, it'll count. Doesn't go. Going by the numbers. We're at the end of one, 19 to 15. In favor of the Lakers Celtics showing good poise, staying in there, coming back. They were down 15 to five. Only down four now. Going by the numbers. The Lakers average 64.9 a game to the Celtics, 49.6. Not good, a 15-point underdog, the Celtics. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. They're only down four. In the top leaders in scoring and all that other jazz we have on the stats, Jeremy Rock, of course, leads the league in scoring at 28-2. Celtics, there are none in the top 10. For free throws, Iggy Gibson is number six. And numbers nine and 10, uh, Steve Ward and Jeremy Rocker of the Lakers. And of course, in the three-point category, the Lakers, Jeremy Rocker has taken over the lead, but Bobby Skane and Bryant Santos are also in the top five for three-pointers. Santos has one today. Sean Fitzpatrick, quiet scorer. Bad pass. Goes off skein. Bad pass by Santos, trying to sneak it by Rocca. Doesn't realize he got a good reach and he can jump. Andy Robinson in the game, but Brendan Berger says, ha! From the corner. Still angry. Rocker with the ball. 
Stephen Wood. Andy Robinson is in the game. They need to find him. He's wide open. Andy Robinson is just standing there waiting for the ball. Rocca gets hacked. No call. Andy with the ball. He knows not to shoot a three. Inside to Berger. Berger didn't follow the shot. He faded away. Nice steal by Rocca. Goes up and over. No call. Gets the basket. He's in Alan Armandi's ear. Andy Robinson ripping down rebounds. Almost threw it away. Berger saves it. That's a stat. That's a rebound for Andy Robinson. Inside. Berger for Robinson. He knows everybody in the gym wants him to shoot. He knows not to shoot. Andy will not put up a three. Berger fouled from behind. Rocker with the jumper. Kane gets to Charmella, open Gibson for two. Coach Magic asking the referees if he's serious about that last call. I believe they are because they blew the whistle. Santos comes out to a well-earned applause, and they are about to release Joey Armstrong into the game. Mike McQuaddo, this is going to get interesting. Andy Robinson, Joe Armstrong on the court, entwined as one. They're about to go to war. I am dying to see this confrontation. He was on the line. That's a two. That's a two. They got to release him. They got to let him in it. Here goes the press. They're avoiding. Big Stanley, wide open. Tries to get it to Andy Robinson. Foul. A late call, but it was a, was a foul. Andy Robinson. Gibson to Skane. Skane only wants to shoot threes. He's on the line. That was a two. The big Stanley LaFrost. He is in the Malton Observer if you want to go check him out. Sitting with the wrestling team. He's in the lower left corner of the pitcher. Steve Wood inside, but Big Stanley hesitates and he throws it away. There's some loud children in the stands. Joe Armstrong trying to go on everybody. He puts his hands up in disgust. I think his coach did the same thing. Armstrong trying to get the rebound. Goes to Adler Sertle, using the speed. He just flew by everyone on the field. Adler Sertle was like a bullet. And the coach wants a timeout. <laughs> 29 to 17, 427 to go in the first half. Lakers with a 12 point lead. This is getting exciting. They are off pace from what their normal scoring is. Well, I can't say off pace. They're almost at 30. They average 65. I need to find out who's dribbling because that's going to annoy me the rest of the day. Somewhere and then I'm going to. Yeah, kids can't see because everyone's in the way. 
It doesn't even look like anyone's doing it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go take that ball and I'm gonna pop it. Stop dribbling! Stephen Wood goes strong to the hole. Someone in that back row. Adla Sertle with the basket. Joe Armstrong on the court. He takes out Andy Robinson. You have to leave Andy in the game with Joe. The fans want to see it. Rocker gets fouled. Almost got away with a travel there. But he got hit, causing him to fall backwards. That's three on Alan Omondi. Entered the game. Wesley Snipes switched at birth. Protege. Fred Raymond in the game. He's disappeared three times this year. He's ready to go. Stolen by Ward up to Langston. Nice long pass, but Adler Cerno. They're calling the foul on Adler. He just hit the ball out of his hand. Langston misses. Berger hits it out of Raymond's hands. Iggy gets it up for Adler. No reaching foul. They call it down low, though. Play the foul to number 15, Steve Ward, the first person on the second on the team. Adler hits the first. Adler Sertle at the line is only 40%. I believe he's in the bottom 10 of the worst free throws in the league with a minimum of 17 free throws. Can he check the worst free throw shooter? Oh, you didn't see that? No. Oh. Mike McQuado, you need to look at the stat sheets more often. I haven't looked at the stat sheets all season. Ten worst on the bottom. <laughs> and a king's at the top. Exactly. <laughs> they were the worst shooting team in the league for the first Celtics? four weeks. No sixes, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm surprised. I thought LaFosse would be on it. No, I thought so, too. That's what I was looking for. Yep. Emmanuel Mock is a damn good free throw shooter, so he won't be on it. Papagallo. He been at least seven, yeah, he's been no, seven, yeah, he's very little this year. He's shooting nothing but threes. He's only hit like three of them. He's taken 87. <laughs> and still doesn't realize he's not a three-point shooter. That's a traveling violation when they fall. Look at Coach Amos. He's on top of him. I thought he was going to grab him and arm drag. The coach is out of control. He is out of control. I thought he was going to hook him and throw him on the ground. Even Magic says that he's out of control. Gibbs a nice pass to Armstrong. Joe Armstrong sitting there going, wasn't my fault, coach. He threw it at my hands. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> he goes up and he rips a rebound. Hand off to Adler. Over to Iggy. We got to get Armstrong involved in the offense. Fouled by Berger. 
Lakers drop the number one, Brendan Berger, his first personal, 30 feet. Iggy at the line. He's number six in free throws this season with a minimum 17. A lot of people have... Who's the top free throw shooter in the league? Top in the league? Two weeks ago, it was Timmy No. Three weeks ago, it was Demir Safia. Last week, I believe it was Mike Bonapane. Well, he missed a whole bunch today. Yes, he did. Joe Armstrong on the break. Yep, and he slowed down because he saw Jeremy Rocca. And then butt cheeks got tight. Skein should have gave it down to Joe Armstrong. There goes Armstrong. He's up and he's over. Joe Armstrong using his power. Yep. Bonapane's one. No is two. 75.9 before today. Wow. He's probably down to, say, 56 now. He missed a lot. He missed a good eight. He's 22 for 29. That's damn good. He missed about eight, I'd say, today. Yeah. That should, that should put him in the 60s at least. Drop him out of the top spot. Ruben Legentis is number three. Staminski Cadet is number four of the Kings. Wow. And Cliff Hilaire is number five. Who would have thunk? Ward got a little confused. Had to go back door, couldn't make it. Langston heard Rocker's voice for three. No good, hits the top. Iggy going slow, 32-24. Minute 10 to go in the first half. Joe Armstrong, no basket. Someone needs to shut that girl up because her voice is going right through me. Joe Armstrong pounding the ball to the ground. Misses the first. Joe Armstrong's looking at that little girl like he's going to fight her. He telling like her to shut up. <laughs> yeah, actually, he does. You're right. Joe Armstrong is in the top 10 of the worst. He was 0-2 there. He was number he was number two for a, quite a few weeks. Why, what percentage? He is now number eight, 34%. Improving. He improved. He was at 20.1 forever. Wow. Then he got back to the line and he hit like three out of four one game. Brian Santos loses the ball. Skein loses the ball. I'm going to have to tell Dougie Johnson about that little girl's voice. They're relatives. Big shout out to Dougie and his mom, Dukes. Dougie, who is oh, smack it to the flesh. Joe Armstrong commits the foul, falls down. Rocker going to the line for the three-point conversion. Joe Armstrong is a beast. Showing no fear. He hits the three. 37-24, 23 seconds to go in the first half. Ball's up, it's loose. Raymond DeRocca. He was off balance. Langston hits the basket. And that's the half. At the end of the first half, Joe Armstrong just committed a foul on me. I'm not even playing. 39 to 24 in favor of the Lakers. Lakers are in pretty much cruise control. Everybody's chipping in for the Lakers. Celtics just not working as a unit, not working as a team. They're rebounding, but they're not hitting down the other end. They're getting one shot, and they're going the other way. Lakers are getting their own rebounds on offense, putting it back up. 
That's the difference. Mike, anything? You pretty much covered everything. All right, just watch your back because Amanda's behind you. We'll see you in the second half. Welcome back to second half action. Had to go find me a cameraman. Who better than Dougie Johnson, former king? Get them on the chair. That's how you bring the old folks back. He ain't got no gray hairs yet, but he's old. Old school. I thought he used to look closer than this. Yeah, it could lower it. Get less window. There you go. Your mic can go a little closer. Well, I'll move it in a second. I just want to see where it is. Santos, okay. Try that. Just follow the ball. Follow the ball. Fitzpatrick to Wood. Wood going baseline. Double pump follows the zone shot. There goes Iggy. Going left, not his side. Adler with the ball, followed by Josh Gomez. Again, I need to find out why he's wearing number 47. Ball goes up, goes down. Almost stolen. Ward to Rocker, season open. Gomez wide open. Look at Coach Amos. He's a, I don't know why he's mad. Why is he mad? Oh, he's pumped up. Oh, he's figuring if he can score, why can't Andy? That's what it is. Fritz just throws it to Ward. Oh my God. Block and foul on Adler. That was player control. I'm sorry. That should have been offensive. But that's not how they saw it. Here he comes. Evil Andy, the mad dog. Voted most likely to bite an ankle. And Fred Riley coming into the game. No relation to Tommy Riley of Gladiator with Brian Dennehy, a good bare knuckle fight, fighting movie. And Andy throws it to Adler. No one told him Adler wasn't on his team. He is wearing a different uniform, though. Doesn't matter, 45-26. 19-point lead, seven minutes to go in the third. Fritzville Saint, turn around, no good. Rocker with the tap. Stay in like a ball. Ward for three. Front rims at Fritz with the follow. Too hot off the glass. And there goes Santos with his Afro puff. Can't get it to go. Foul by Andy. Andy did the right thing, didn't allow him to score. That's two on him. He's only played a minute and a half. Give him time. <laughs> Andy's one of those hard nosed players. He don't care. He's look at him. He's going to cover two Celtics. I got no fear. As you see, Magic's head in the shot of the camera. The ball goes down. Still 19 points. Stephen Wood. Right back. Good break by the Lakers. Rocker with the whoops a willy move. There goes Iggy to Fred Riley. Blocked by Fritz. Stephen Ward on his way to a basket. Time out to the Celtics. 22-point lead in favor of the Lakers. 
Joe Armstrong in the middle right there with Brock in the red head, the green headband. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's go to the Lakers. Let's see who's over there. Anybody rocking a headband besides Rocka? Rock is rocking. <laughs> From another mother and father. <laughs> like no other. And there's Bobby Skane. And number three is Alan Tam. Joe Young on the left rocking his Red Sox championship hat. Go Red Sox. For all you out there, the fans. And to you Yankee fans, <laughs> suck it. Um, five and a half to go, 49-27 in favor of the Lakers. Pretty much coasting. Having a good time. Coach Amos enjoying himself on the sidelines. Clicking them heels. They're up 22 and he's got his status in. Except for Andy. Andy's took over Fritz's spot. Santos for three. Andy rips the rebound. Be impatient. Look at the control of Andy Robinson. No good. Burger over the top. Nope. Riley to Sertle. Andy Robinson takes the ball. Offensive. Andy Robinson takes it for the team. Player control offensive charge. No good. Ball's loose. Berger tries to save it. Omondi with the ball. Throws it to Santos. Where is Nick Charamella? I don't see him anywhere. I think, nope, there he is, sitting on a bench. That was a travel right there. He skidded. There goes Rocca. Over Sertle, played good defense right there. Adler did the right thing, just stayed on his feet. Getting rewarded for it. Or maybe not, he lost it. Jump ball again. Andy Robinson on the dirt again. He's like Pigpen from Snoopy, ain't he? Just getting dirty all the time, ain't showing no fear. I still want Joe Armstrong on the court with him. A deep two, no good. It's Patrick. Patient, patient, patient. Lake of offense. Ward for three. No good. Going to the well too often. You're up 22, why are you shooting a three? Rocca tried to take charge. No good, Iggy couldn't hit the bunny. Berger dribbling the ball. Finds St. Patrick. Got to give it to Andy. He's got to get a basket. He got one this season? Yeah, against the Kings. Santos with the steal. He read that. Most people score against the Kings. <laughs> hey, let's put all five guys on their best guy. So their other guys can have career games. Andy's coming out. Yep, Rocca gets a deepen. He's off his scoring pace of 28. That's probably why he's a little tired. Yeah, I got in at. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't get in. I got home at uh, 11.30 this afternoon. This morning, sorry. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of crashed on someone's floor last night. <laughs> After a nice uh, hangout of with Chris Rogers of the Kings, he's detrimental Boston. to my health, I think. I was in Saugus till 2:30, then I was in Everett till 11:30 this morning. Uh, it, it actually was. <laughs> See what's in your hand? That got used too. Close up. 
<laughs> Violation on the lake is... Violation Lake and the ref is saying no basket. Well, they were absolutely right. Violation on purple. The ball went in for the Celtics and he was trying to say no basket. The ref was dead wrong. Got corrected, no harm, no foul. Ball's loose. Rocker falls over Sertle. You could zoom if you want. You've got to be able to follow it, though. It gets a little tougher when you zoom in. I know, because you don't get that much of a picture. Yeah. And I used to zoom in all the time. But it's good, you know, you got to move real quick. Gives people headaches. Two minutes to go in the third. 53-28. 54-28. Lakers on pace to score their 68-point average. Only need 12. Skane doesn't get one to fall. Sertl with a nice jump and rebound. Foul on Berger. It's the front row. Big Stanley LaForest. Okay. Actually, Matt Shabelli of the Celtics came in. Matt Shabelli of the Celtics came in for Iggy Gibson. Minute 45 to go in the third. Rocker for three. Nope. And it follows the shot. If he got in before two, he would have had the three-pointer. A little tired. Skein for three. No good. Langston up for Rocker. Rocker was going to pass, but had to keep it. Adler wants the ball. He got it. Didn't do nothing with it. A foul. That's five on Adler. Charmella finally coming back into the game. 58-25, 129-103 to go in the third quarter. Wood misses the three. There goes Santos. Oh, I get fly with my Afro puffs. Oh. It looks like somebody's running behind them. Skane, I don't know why he shot that. He had no prayer. Charamella blocked. Throws it off LaFarge, stays Celtic ball. Big stands in the Malden Observer, if anybody wants to check him out. Malden Wrestling Team, he's in the paper. Stanley LaFarge, number 30 of the Lakers for wrestling. He's big. I don't know how good he is. I haven't seen it, but he's in a picture. I want to get the basket. There you go. Comes over slowly. It's that that effect that he's giving you, the Johnson effect. So you all have to pay attention. I knew what he was doing the whole time. Sure you're right. Charmella at the line. Charmella was on a great pace in the beginning of the season. Scoring-wise, everything, free throws, fell off pace. Missed a couple games. Calling fouls from across the court. Yeah, 
Balls up, it's down. Santos forcing it. Charamella couldn't go off the glass. He's going to shoot. No good. Over to back on Chabelli. Me talking. Five, making sure, making sure. Balls up, deep deuce. No good. And that's the end of three. We have 50 to 29. Excuse me, 60-29 in favor of the Lakers. 31 points. Not good. Not much I can do there. Yeah, it don't matter. Whatever you want to do. You got a cameraman. It's up to you. Adler! Adler! What you doing? Adler Sertle hanging by the Lakers. He's checking out the, the book to see how many points he scored. Got another quarter to go. He's worried about what he's... Well, he fouled out. What does he care? Hold on. I got to go pay the lady. I'll be back. You have a microphone. I get them on sometimes. We're ready to start the fourth quarter. Cliff Williams is trying to get some air time. Everybody to the Lakers. Cliff Williams is here to get air time. I can't wait till the coaches I'm going to take all my questions. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There goes Armandi. Chabelli with the deep. No good. I think the clientele out there is just struggling. The clientele that he has on the court. Charmella, no good. Blue 11. Fritzville Saint, I haven't seen him in quite some time. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Rocco, Stephen Water on the bench. And we've still got a whole quarter to go. Hey, they should. They're up 30. Stanley LaFarge, Josh Gomez, Fritzville Saint, Fred, I killed my share of vampires, Raymond, and Rashad Langston on the court for the Lakers. Charamella, Omondi, Skein, Santos, and Shabelli for the Celtics. With this loss, the Celtics are now tied with the Sonics for fourth place. I, at the beginning of the season, said the Sonics will take the fourth spot. So I am looking like a genius. It's quite possible they have an easier road to the playoffs than the Celtics do. There goes Langston with his moves. He does have some moves. Short little dynamo that he is. <laughs> Gotta love the ugly people. Because they save us the good-looking chicks. Because <laughs> good-lookers are going to need the good-looking girls. Get the uggers for the uggers. Oh, yes. 
Cherimello off the glass. We want Andy Robinson in the game. Who said that? <laughs> I think Demir Safi is looking for Andy Robinson to come into the game. There goes Fred Raymond. Oh, Fred Raymond, I thought he was going to pull out a stake and pierce someone's heart. Mondi and Skane come out. Tam and Riley go in. Six and a half to go in the game. Good pass. To the wall. We want Andy. You got to get Andy in the game. He's ready to play. He's ready to play. I think he's going to score. No, Fred Raymond going to the hole. Draws the foul. Number seven, Fred Riley. Yep, he missed the first with his pants hanging oh so low. Shorts ain't made to go behind the knee, and they are. If you picked them shorts up, them balls would have fell in. Got to hit your free throw, son. Santos using his speed, tries to feed it through. Some kin folks should tell that little girl over there to stop screaming so much, going through people's eardrums. No, never. Did I say kin folk? I mean, someone should say something. Yeah. He, yelling, you stink, and all that. Uh, you know. Stanley! Oh, he front rims it. Big Stan. Charmella to Tam. Celtics are just falling apart. Skein comes in for Santos. Four and a half to go in the game. What conversation we got? Oh, I missed that? Oh, my bad. I'll get the mic right over there to him. Coach Williams, would you like a microphone? Hey, another one right there. I don't talk much. No, no need. Four minutes to go in the game. Charamella to Riley. Quick shot. Did not call glass. Fritz and Riley. Or something. Celtics get the timeout. We want Andy. There's Andy Robinson right there, number 34. They want Andy Robinson in the game. 62 to 33. Hey, get him in there. Get him some points. Celtics a bit discombobulated over there. They've had a mental breakdown. They scored last week, the second half of a game they played, they scored a total of eight points. And Andy Robinson is in the game! Andy, you get the ball, shoot it. Even the cameraman wants him to shoot. Everybody wants him to shoot. He's got to get the ball. Oh, he's wide open, he got a breakaway! Fred Raymond did not see Andy, he had a breakaway. He could have dunked it. Whoa, Fred! Yes. <laughs> That's not a stake. You're driving through a vampire's hat. You gotta calm down with that. Skane brings the ball up. What in the Lord was that? That's a deuce. Bobby Skane. 
Nope, Fred Raymond does. Got to find Andy. Inside for Raymond. A give and go right there. Almost three minutes to go. Raymond with the near steal. Goes Lake a ball. Andy Robinson throwing it in. He's touching the ball. That's pot one. Pot two's down the other end. Bad pass by Raymond. That's two bad passes. Oh, oh, he stepped out of, he stepped back court. Charamello with the ball. Blocked by Raymond. And we got a foul. On Raymond. 2.54 to go. Yeah. No. My bad. Andy got the ball. Falls down with the pass. Good decoy. Good decoy. Fall down, make everybody look so Fritz can just drive the lane. That's smart ball playing by Andy Robinson. Fall down to make everybody look at him and not Fritz. There goes Fritz again. Almost got it to go. Josh Gomez back to Fritz. No good. Shabelli with the ball. Throws it up to Skane. Him and Andy. Block and foul on Andy. Surprised he didn't get up screaming, yelling at the ref. And he shook Robert Skane's hand. Why does the commissioner always laugh when he says Andy Robinson's name? <laughs> It's like the third time he said his name, he's the third time he's laughed. You okay over there, coach? <laughs> Very quiet. Skane at the line. Hits the second. Gotta get Andy the ball. Where's he going? Trying to get it to Stanley. Andy, shoot the ball. I'm not shooting. <laughs> he says he's not shooting. He refuses to shoot. Play the game. It's game for three. Hits the three. It's a very lazy shot. Just no, nothing to it. Raymond calls for the ball to Gomez. Andy Robinson is by half court. He is not shooting. Fred, it goes for Stanley LaForest. Alan Tim. Chevelli with the three, no good. Gomez. To Raymond, to Robinson, he had it in his hands. Throws it up to the wrong team. Fritz is going as by himself. This is the one minute warning. You can turn out the lights. And there goes Alan Tim gets his. Why isn't Joe Armstrong in the game? Joe Armstrong should have been in this game. Yeah, but he should still be in at this point. Charamella oh, going behind the back. To Skane for the assist. Shoot it! Andy Robinson petrified to shoot. Why is he scared? You're not going to lose if you shoot it. Andy, shoot the ball. Andy Robinson just telling everyone, I don't want to shoot. Why not? If you hit it, you look like a genius. Don't over, you look like a 
like you always look. Right. You're still Andy. <laughs> He's over there saying if I shoot, people are going to giggle. If you don't shoot, they're giggling. What's the difference? Get involved in the game. Make an effort. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's yeah, right there. You, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bunch of spiders coming out of his head. That's not even right. <laughs> That's not even right. 25.6 to go. No, no, Lakers with a commanding game. lead. Don't need to know the score. It's irrelevant at this point. The Lakers will improve to 10 and 1. The Celtics will drop to 5 and 6, tied with the Sonics for fourth place. Stanley to Andy. Andy for three. It went up perfect. It went in perfect. And he was worried about people giggling at him. The game's over. They're letting him shoot it. Andy Robinson, a happy camper. That's the game. Dougie, over here, please. That's the game. The Lakers go to 10 and 1. Cliff Williams wants revenge at the All Star break, at the All Stars versus the coaches. Andy Robinson hitting his three at the end of the game. Maybe we can get a quick interview with the young Andrew. He's got a couple hands to shake. We're talking big playoff implications now. Celtics, Sonics, both five and six. Celtics are set to play the Kings. Sonics are set to play the Sixers. A lot of things going down. Anything can happen in the next two weeks of this game. Where is he? Andy Robinson. Andy Robinson, he's going in the locker room. He don't want an interview. He ain't got no time. We can't have an interview. Ain't nothing about the Sonics. Yeah, game's over. Who cares? It's irrelevant. You don't pass? Okay, there's the Sonics. <laughs> for Brad Worth, Ben, Dougie Johnson helping in the second half. For everybody here in the MNBL, 20th season, 20-odd-5. We'll see you next games.